I'm Brian with Mean Instruments, and we're going to show you how to attach your camera to the telescope. Depending on your particular camera and telescope, there's sometimes more than one way to accomplish this, but I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways to get started so you can begin taking some astrophotos. The most straightforward way to adapt your telescope to the camera is to go directly from the optical tube assembly to your camera with no eyepiece or camera lens in between. This direct method is called prime focus astrophotography. It's usually the best way to capture deep sky objects because you want the biggest field of view possible and the fastest exposures possible. And when we just use the natural focal length of the telescope, that's generally the easiest way to accomplish that without adding any additional lens. So most of the time, we'll be doing prime focus astrophotography for deep sky imaging. Before attaching your camera, start by removing all visual accessories, including any eyepiece, star diagonal, or visual back that may already be installed on your telescope. To attach your DSLR camera, such as your Canon, your Nikon, or your Sony to the telescope, you'll need two different adapters. One is the T-mount, also sometimes called the T-ring. It fits directly to the camera body. It's made specific to the make and model of your camera. And the other part is the T-adapter. Not to be confused with the T-ring, the T-adapter fits directly to the telescope. Most of the T-mounts that you purchase, including the ones that you would purchase from Meet Instruments, are using a standardized thread size of 42 millimeter diameter. It's also called a T-thread. So most of the ones that you find on the market are using this T-thread, but if you are getting a third-party accessory, be absolutely sure that you're getting the correct thread size so that the T-mount and the T-adapter fit together. In this example, I'm using the Mead 6-inch F10 ACF optical tube. I want to attach it to my Canon DSLR camera over prime focus astrophotography. The ACF optical tubes uh, of all sizes for both the F8 and F10 models use the Mead number 62 T adapter. The T adapter is going to fit directly to the back of the telescope. Again, because we're doing prime focus, uh, there's no lens used. We're going directly to the rear threads of the telescope. I'm going to thread this on here and not quite tighten it all the way just yet, but just enough to kind of get it in place. Now there's our T-mount that I'm going to thread on to the T-adapter. The T-mount again is made for the make and model of your camera. In this case, I'm using the EOS, Canon EOS type T-mount. I'm going to thread that on. I'm going to kind of cinch this down and make this tight against the T-adapter. You'll see here there's a little index marker. I'm going to place the camera body and align it with the marker on the camera body. The EOS type has a bayonet fitting, so it's going to latch on just as if it was a camera lens. I'm going to rotate it clockwise. You should uh, both hear and feel a click when it's engaged. So that's now on. And we might not have, so we've, we've successfully attached the camera to the telescope right here. But we might not have the orientation we want, which is why I didn't tighten this at first. So I'm going to kind of rotate the camera to the orientation I want. Let's say we want it like this, and we'll give the T adapter a final little tight down, and now we're ready to go. CMOS cameras, like our DSi-4, include a two-inch nose piece that can go directly into almost any telescope that accepts two-inch accessories. Including the two-inch nose piece on most CMOS cameras is very convenient because it can fit virtually any telescope with a two-inch focuser or two-inch eyepiece holder. But whenever possible, it's preferable to have a direct threaded connection from your telescope to the camera. That's why in this example, if I'm going to attach my CMOS camera to a Mead ACF, I would actually remove the nose piece of the camera. The camera body, such as those like our DSi-4, will have a threaded connection here. This is also a 42 millimeter diameter uh, threaded connection, which is also called a T-thread. 
In this case, I'll be using the, the Mead number 62T adapter to fit the 6 inch F10 ACF optical tube. Thread the T adapter onto the back of the scope with all accessories removed because we're shooting prime focus. No eyepiece or lens will be used in between the camera and the telescope. I'll just make it finger tight for now. We'll thread the camera body on. And now we can loosen it as needed to adjust the orientation that we might want and then tighten it back down. And now we've successfully connected our CMOS camera to the telescope. A refractor or reflector telescope with a two inch focuser can use a more universal style camera adapter. In this case, I'm using a two inch to male T-thread camera adapter. This will also thread directly to the T-mount of your camera. With this style two inch camera adapter, I can now attach it to virtually any telescope that accepts two inch accessories. That covers the basics for attaching your telescope to a DSLR or CMOS camera at prime focus, often for deep space astrophotography. Stay tuned for part two, where I talk about high power astrophotography, including planetary imaging with a dedicated planetary camera.